Hi guys, this is episode 3 of my podcast. And today we're going to look at episode 4 of Love, Death and Robots, entitled Suits. Now unlike the first two podcasts that I produced, there will be spoilers in it, but I'm not going to go to the full detail of this episode, as the episode itself is quite simplistic, but with a twist. We are introduced to a very Americana farmland situation. We have a husband and wife, and it seems quite normal. Nothing out of the ordinary from today's world. Until, of course, the farmer climbs inside a highly advanced mech. (laughs) A large robot machine. The wife informs him there is a breach on the farm. So he, he takes his mech out to investigate. And we, when he gets there, we see there's cows eating grass and chillaxing. And in the distance, we see a portal has opened. Or some kind of rip in time and space. Or some kind of gateway. And instantly, a large insect creature, like something from Starship Troopers, comes rushing out and kills one of the cows. And of course, using his mech and his large array of weaponry, he blows its head off. And wins the day. You would think. No, many more insects come running out of the portal and start killing all his cattle. And by the time he's done, there is only one cow left. (laughs) Poor cow. On his way back, He notices hundreds upon hundreds of other portals or gateways opening in the horizon and he calls for help. So the wife gets on the radio and contacts a local farmer who could be considered his best friend or at least his neighbour and also contacts an old lady who seems to be taking care of business herself by killing hundreds of or at least a good dozen amount of these creatures that have invaded her land. And so they join him on the edge of this abyss of doom, staring at portals that are opening all over the place. So only three mechs against thousands of insects that come rushing out. And they open fire. In this sweet, pretty sweet battle scene. Launching flamethrowers, machine gun, barrages of missiles. It's a pretty sweet battle. It's very like a computer game. With some very enjoyable references to many films that we've seen. Like Star Trek Troopers and Aliens and stuff like that. Most of the characters, it would seem, were modelled after some famous science fiction characters from Aliens, which was a nice little treat. They fight this battle, and unfortunately his neighbour, the one who came to his aid, has to sacrifice his life by detonating his power cell inside his mech and kill the remaining insects that are surrounding them. And it seems maybe the old lady has been killed as well. And when you think the whole day has been won, the portal starts to expand and grow and grow huge. And and then out of nowhere, an insect creature, which is absolutely huge, comes walking out. And it's like nothing he's ever seen. So this is the first time something this size has come through the portal or gateway. And it's unbelievably powerful. So he starts to rush back as fast as he can towards the farm because that's where the creature is heading. At the farm, all the families that live in the area have been getting inside the bunker which is next to his farm. And um, while he tries to stop the large insect from getting back, So he attacks it and the large insect knocks him aside like he's nothing. 
But luckily enough, the wife has a surprise. The wife has designed a new weapon system for their anniversary and shoots the insect and it slowly slows it down but doesn't stop it so the husband inside his mech runs over to the creature anchors himself down and tries to wedge open the mouth of the creature and by doing so the wife is able to take target and shoot inside the creature's mouth and killing it dead and that's technically the end of the episode the husband survives the wife survives the wife of the neighbor survives but everyone else dies which is a shame and then the camera pans out further and further and then we see the truth they're not some farmers living on earth with highly advanced mechs defending themselves from some kind of insects invasion like starship troopers no 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 they are the invaders humans have built domes or these stations on the side of this planet in the middle of this unknown location in the universe and it is the insects who are defending their world and outside these domes you can see thousands upon thousands of insects climbing on top of it which means the portals aren't technically portals but perhaps weaknesses in the force field which are allowing these insects to every so often when there's a weakness fall through and then they are able to kill whoever they can when they get inside it seems that the humans have invaded their world and perhaps they've built the domes on top of breeding grounds or large food supply or the best soil on the planet it was a very interesting ending to this episode it was a great twist because all along you're thinking to yourself oh it just must be earth it has to be earth because it feels like i'm in america right now but it was a very nice twist very nice twist and um, once again this uh, series on netflix has enlightened me has opened my imagination up to concepts which i would not have considered and has brought together some great elements from films that i love like starship troopers and aliens and who doesn't love a good movie with some mechs and some mechs large insects and high-powered weaponry <laughs> well that's the end of my episode i hope you enjoyed me talking about this it was a little bit different from the previous episodes. I didn't go into more of a detailed step-by-step -step analysis of the episode because I felt this episode a bit more straightforward, a bit more simple. So thanks for listening. I hope to catch you next time and have a good day.